Now a story we've been tracking for years, the state of the Catholic Church. There are a growing number of Catholic churches closing across the country. The Diocese of Providence has officially closed three in the last two years. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke with church leaders on what exactly happens to parishes once they're closed. She joins us now live in studio with the details that are new at 530. Anita. There are currently 141 churches within the Diocese of Providence, down 14 from 1997. This trend will only continue, forcing many parishioners to find a new spiritual home, a problem the diocese is all too familiar with. These empty pews at St. Bridget's Church in Johnston were once filled with many parishioners. Now St. Bridget's will be up for sale on July 1st. This is the second parish Father Angelo Carusi of St. Rocco's had to close, St. Teresa's in Providence being the first in 2009. With St. Teresa's and also with, with St. Bridget's, it came down to uh, finances. St. Bridget's merged with St. Rocco's after declining attendance, but now the decision was made to close the church permanently. It's never easy. I don't like to do it. I don't want to do it. But practically speaking, it has to be done. In addition to St. Bridget's, the diocese says three churches are currently vacant and up for sale. Sacred Heart in Woonsocket, St. Leo's in Pawtucket, and St. Patrick's in Cumberland. The Diocese of Providence Chancellor, Father Timothy Riley, says they consult with the parish priest prior to its closure canonically. Then it goes up for sale. The diocese continues to maintain church property until they are sold or demolished. We still keep our insurance on the building. We have our maintenance. We have our security. Um, the fire alarm will stay on, smoke detectors will still be in place. St. Cashmere Church in Warren was the last church in Rhode Island to get knocked down nearly 15 years ago, following the 1993 demolition of St. John's on Federal Hill. So we have to be a little more wise and prudent with how we're going to prepare for the, uh, the shortage. Mm -hmm. Not just of priests, that's an important factor, but the, um, the lack of people in the pews, the longtime lack of sacramental practice, um, it's all coming together. It's not a pretty picture. Demolishing a church is the last option. The diocese works to sell the church to another religious group or developer. The last thing we want is for someone to stop going to church altogether. That's never the answer. We need you more than ever. As for St. Bridget's, its legacy will live on. Statues of the Station of the Cross will be sent to a church in the Caribbean that was ravaged by a hurricane. Life of the church will go on, just in a different place, in a different venue. The diocese says a lot of interest to purchase vacant churches is coming from residential developers. Canon law gives the bishop the final say. I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.